everybody, this is Stephanie from Rosa Does a Rabbitry and Yarns, LLC. And in today's video, we're going to talk a bit about wintertime using hay to keep your Angora rabbits warm and happy and healthy. So we have Arthur with us who has, who has been fed hay and he has a little bit of matting right here. He has a little bit of hay debris stuck in his wool and um, a little bit of hay debris that gets stuck everywhere on him. So make sure you go ahead and press the subscribe button and the bell. That way you get notified every time we release a video. We will let you know the hay that we have is actually high content alfalfa hay right here. We don't always feed alfalfa hay. Um, sometimes it's just hay that's been harvested just outside like grass. Sometimes it's what we dried ourselves. Uh, this is hay that's been in here for a couple days. Arthur, we're just checking the hay. Arthur hasn't, it's very windy here. Arthur hasn't soiled the hay. That's what we're looking at. Uh, there's a little bit of wool debris in the hay. But when you are using hay for your rabbit, you want to be able to have hay that your rabbit can eat safely. So you make sure that there's, there's no mold in it. You want to make sure that there is, it's not grasses or hay that were sprayed with chemicals or with any sort of pesticide, just really good, clean, dried hay. And so we create a, what we do is we create a section for Arthur right here. Um, this gives him relief from eating pellets that helps the, all of this fiber, high fiber, helps process and keep his digestive system going really well. He can pull out pieces and eat them whenever he wants. He can sit on this and have a nice cushiony place to sit instead of his uh, wooden box that he loves flipping over or the wire. Um, and so we are, we have enough hay. This is the storage rack above Arthur's pen. So this is Arthur's pen. We have a shelf above his rack and he has two bales of hay that we have kept you can hear the baby kittens i don't know where they are oh there's one um but we have hay for the winter time that we're keeping inside we're keeping it dry keeping it stored up here there's additional bales because we have another little dude right there there's more hay Hey, hey. So this shelf that we have, this system right here for housing our rabbits, it's working really well for for using these square bales of hay. We pay about seven dollars for a square a square bale of good quality, 100 percent um, you know, high content alfalfa hay. So the setup we still have for the hay when you're feeding your rabbit's hay, you're using it in the winter time to keep your rabbits warm. The setup we have, uh, the wire allows the hay, the particles to just drop right through with the waste. And so it doesn't get, wow, little kitten. This little kitten is very much wanting to be held. Oh boy. So we'll hold this kitten. All right. Oh, quiet. Anyways, so we do have, the, that is of course a good consideration. When you're using hay in the wintertime, you always wanna make sure we do have other critters that are around. We have our chickens. Obviously there's kittens. There's, you have the potential always for mice. You have the potential for all sorts of things to get into your hay that want to get into your hay and keeping them, uh, farther away and up off the ground helps keep your hay clean. Um, if you do have barn cats, which we do have, or if you have some other system of managing the mice, that's going to be important for your hay in the winter time because you want to keep it free from all sorts of contamination, including urine and feces from rodents. Oh boy. As well as urine and feces from kittens because we're getting infiltrated with two little kittens here. But anyways, so this, uh, we do have a tarp up, which we showed. We have the, the wall behind Arthur. We have the ceiling above. There's a tarp up to the side. Um, there's light that can come through. However, this isn't a lot of natural light and we definitely 
Uh, we want to keep the window, but we, we also want to keep wood. So if we take that tarp, um, the wood, well, goodness gracious, we want to keep light in, but we want to keep the wind out. So what we can do is we can, wow, little kitty. We can take the hay and we take sections of the hay and just the actual sections can be placed sideways on the on the wire itself and so for we'll show you a little example in a different rabbit's pen so this little dude ate all his hay he's got some ample slices that are in there we're gonna open it up watch out dude there we go we've got a clump of hay that's already open comes off in sections he's got his box He's got his box turned a little bit this way. That's okay. They flip them all sorts of ways. But what we can do is we can start building up the sections of hay. So he's getting all sorts of hay in his wool and his angora. Um, not everyone's angora collects as much debris as Arthur's does. Arthur's collects a lot. But we just, we have our bale of hay up here. And you can see this is solid, which helps prevent the, the hay from coming underneath. That's quite important. But the hay itself, the hay bale, it's like you can just take out sections. And if we really wanted to, we can start layering these sections and we can start building all sorts of protection and building it around and blocking the wind and creating all sorts of good places and insulating for our rabbits. So you can literally, as you see, just start building up and around and you can start placing it all over here and that you know that creates good insulation for your rabbit when you pack that in there nice and thick but that's how you can use hay and of course you always have to watch out like this little dude has a lot of uh, vegetation in his wool now you can also see he does have he does have wind that wind does blow a bit through his wool he is the son of Arthur, the son of my 